Microsoft have made some announcements around Copilot for Microsoft 365 and additional education features for education tenants. Microsoft often are at both BET, which is a very large educational technology show in London in January, and they're also at the IST conference in Denver, Colorado around this time of year, around June, July time. They often make big announcements around features and opportunities for customers using the Microsoft education platform. And this time we are seeing some true use options of how Copilot can be used and this time it's in the education space. So let's go take a look. This blog article by the education team for Microsoft has a bunch of announcements, but we're only gonna focus on that co-pilot for Microsoft 365 and education features that are getting added. There are things in here around Minecraft and a few others. So if you're interested to go and read this article, I'll leave a link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would be great to get more subscribers and Give me that thumbs up if you found this video useful. But let's take a look around what Microsoft are now going to be doing for our education customers, giving them a better return on investment for their co-pilot for Microsoft 365 licenses. So taking a look here, as we kind of go through the article, just kind of talks about uh, that they're making these announcements of parts of this events that I talked about. Uh, but these enhancements around what co-pilot for Microsoft 365 in education. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Now, first things I want to point out is that Copilot for Microsoft 365 is only available to uh, 18 plus student wiles. You can buy it for faculty, you can buy it for your staff, but if it's going to be for students, they have got to above, uh, above that 18 plus. So you can only take advantage of that at this moment in time. But if we take a look here, there's a little GIF that plays. So this is just going to play through as I click on this here. But as you can see now, if you're not familiar with education tenants, there are additional features that come with customers that have got Microsoft 365 education. And you'll notice down this left hand side first, just to point out, they've got like an assignment app. And also when they go into a team, which is what you can see here, they have a different type of landing page. So you can see that things don't necessarily land directly on conversations or anything like that. So what you're seeing here and some features is the ability to be able to create an assignment We've got some materials of work and then we're asking Copilot to help the create this material to be able to go off and assign it to the students. So in this assignment, go off and conduct a character analysis. So we're actually having AI help us to generate the material and the assignments that we're sending out from a student point of view. So really helping the teachers to be able to be more productive and we can even put some standards around education like the years, the um, uh, kind of the level of the students and works from that point of view. Nav navigating down a little bit further in this document, we've also got an announcement around forms. Forms previously could create kind of the questionnaires and you could ask it to go off and generate 10 questions, support you with particular type of um, uh, digital standards and asking how an organization is and maturity and asking it to build those questions out. But we now have that for quizzes too. So as you can see, a mass function quiz for nine, ninth grade students, Copilot will go off and understand what ninth grade means and pull the right kind of questions through and make it off. Now it's down to the teacher then to check those questions and then they can go off and they can publish that to the students. This can be assigned to them using those assignment features that I mentioned previously, or could just be created as a separate quiz and then the link is sent to people. The benefits of doing it within that assignments is that there are grades, uh, book features, and you can then go off and look at it and make insights into that kind of side of things. I love how the education team have built so much into the co-pilot and also the Microsoft Teams environment to include these kind of things as part of assignments and quizzes. Looking at the next kind of set of things is that through different feedback, options as part of assignments. So I can take a Word document, I can assign it to students, and there'll be, let's say, the 30 students in the class is now 30 different bits of uh, of the same document that's all been customized as part of the work that the students are doing. So with this one and with the Copilot down the right hand side, I have different assignments and I can see the different kind of scoring that I can give it. What I can also do is have AI help me to generate the feedback that I want to be able to give to that student. So it can go off, it can look, it can think around what's been delivered in this 
and they can go off and it can actually make that recommendations on that feedback again down to the teacher to decide whether they should be actually assigning this and, and giving this feedback should they want to be able to do so but generative ai large language models are helping them again to be more productive looking at the next kind of set of features again another gif here now this is where actually students can create their own learning experience a bit more and i'm so excited by the opportunities that ai can give anybody including yourself a customized learning environment but to think i've got young kids that they could actually grow up and they can start learning in ways that they want and they can ask an ai to support them in the learning in the way that they need to be able to learn and to explain things is just phenomenal completely different to the way that i learned at school so here we've got this learning activities this ability to be able to use ai to have a conversation around a particular subject and around what it is as you can see here it talks about it being diamonds natural and lab made so they can ask the question so here is ai asking the question then we're going to say what is this and it gives us a response around what it is so it becomes a conversation and i'm sure this will also be passed back to the teacher and can help using rubric features to be able to uh, give it a mark or teacher go off and assign it and assess it themselves so really exciting to go off and you can build these but so can students and looking at the next one here is this ability to be able to have a learning co-pilot this is something that is helping the student directly and as you can see here we've got co-pilot down there down that right hand side this you've got your normal co-pilot but now we've got the learning co-pilot this ability to be able to go off and say as you can see here is an example tell me what you can do i want to learn about this subject this is almost that kind of teaching assistant now to help support students with what they want to be able to learn or what they might be stuck on so they can go off and do things but also go off and create things and support the student with the way that they want to learn as you notice in this, this runs actually we've got learn with flashcards create flashcards based on a particular subject how powerful to a student to be able to go off and learn that or a teacher to have these resources created for them so this comes as part of that co-pilot for Microsoft 365 license when you are within an education tenant and probably most likely that you've got this faculty license or student license. Super powerful, super useful. And as it says here is a final kind of side of things is that we've also got this educational data integration. Data is key. We can do so much with data when we understand where students are and what they can go off and do. So this would include as it says here, this will include data from Microsoft Teams education, such as the classwork, the assignments, grades, class roster, and more. And we'll also integrate data from learning management systems. So if you've got something like Moodle or Blackboard or Canva and a few others that kind of hit the same standards, you can integrate this into here. So when you go off and you're using something like Word, you can pull in what are the assignment results. Can you help them to be able to give a results to go off and build a report as you can see here what that review guide is that again is super useful and super powerful to be able to build things out as you can see just goes through a few additional things here if you want aware as part of education environments they do get access to things for students so students can get access to things like github copilot uh, and a few other things like that um, Khan Academy um, is, was available to US uh, customers and even Minecraft education is getting more support from an AI kind of side of point of view. So if you weren't aware around kind of what happens within education tenants and those features, let me know what you think of those in the comments below or even why not giving in touch and get in touch and we can talk about these directly and actually see how you can take advantage of them for your education establishment. Unfortunately, they're not in, co in corporate or enterprise or even business tenancies, they're only in education, but we can learn so much around how Microsoft are implementing co-pilot features inside a co-pilot for 365, and you can use those within your environment. The ability to use AI in education excites me, and the features that we're seeing here is almost as end user products for our learners and for our teachers to be able to support them to be able to do more is so important 
and I'm excited by what Microsoft are doing in this space and I'm sure there will be more that will come to support both the students and also uh, those faculty members and those teachers. So do take a look at the post I said I left the description below and leave me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed this video. And until the next time, I'll see you on the value add soon.